Hello, Walking Dead fans. Uh, this video is actually for a friend of mine, Kyle Thomas. Uh, he was wanting to see some more in-depth uh, video on the holster, a little bit more detail. So hopefully I can uh, accomplish this. Uh, Kyle, the holster is what it is. I, I, if I had to guess, this is either probably from the 80s, um, maybe the 70s. I don't know. I know uh, not, I don't know of any department right now issuing revolvers and stuff, but it is an old uh, police holster. Um, there is a snap here that uh, comes over the pistol, just like Rick's. I've actually unsnapped this here. Uh, it's hard for me to uh, do this because this, this holster is still kind of a lot of, what I call a lot of life. It's still pretty thick and stuff, but this swivels. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. See how that, that swivels there? And when it's back to the locked in position, it is at a, uh, a forward cant. Uh, I don't know why holsters do a forward cant. I like a backward cant myself, a little bit angled back like this, because the angle of the gun coming out is faster. But that's when I practice my fast rolls and, and stuff like that. So anyway, there is the holster. Uh, basket weave. Uh, these are down here. This is silver on the uh, snaps and the, and the swivel. It's a, uh, there's the basket weave pattern. Kind of come down through here. The stitching along the holster comes down and follows the holster to the end there. And then, of course, there's your basket weave on the holster itself. Now, what the show did on The Walking Dead, they cut, this was a solid piece down here, and they just cut this piece out, and that's all I've done. So that way, because Rick uses his Colt Python, it's a 357. there's people out there that think it's the Anaconda, it's not, it's a Colt Python. Uh, and then of course the holster here will come with the Airsoft uh, Colt Python. So this is actually a pretty cool gun. Um, I guess actually safety might be on, but, uh, it's actually really cool. And, you know, for cosplay and stuff like that, you know, awesome. The tip of the buckle, there are one, two, three, four, five holes. And this buckle is adjustable. So you can make it, well, you know what, let me kind of move this back here. Okay. So these holes here allow the buckle to uh, be adjusted so you can move it up to where you like, okay? And to make it tighter, smaller, what have not. So you get, you get a little bit of a free range here. And the buckle, here let me show you the back, it just, it just moves. This is a solid leather uh, belt. And this belt here is a size 38, and that's the size I wear when it comes to the holster because it's fitting over the jeans. It's fitting maybe just a little lower than the waist and it, and it, and it has that proper, well, if you want to call it the Rick Grimes look, uh, perhaps a gunfighter look, but uh, so this one fits me perfect. I do have up here a size 44. Both of these belts are made and I call this brand Bianchi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I call it Bianchi. So, uh, We'll come back down to this one. So if, Kyle, if you're wanting, I will swap out the belts and I will put all, all everything that you see on this belt over onto this one, because I know you requested a 44. So there it is. Uh, the belt stops, I guess that's what they call them. Um, that is our, actually a basket weave. If you look at that, a lot of times when you see these, uh, there's companies that make them and they just kind of got like a little zigzag and they call them basket weave. That, that They probably are, it's just they're not the correct basket weave for this holster. So something to look at. There's uh, another one back here between the knife case and the handcuff case. And then there's another one between the handcuff case and the speed loader and then one in front of the speed loader. And that is the same amount that Rick has. So, um, right there is the stamping for 38 on the, uh, the belt. And there, let me see if I get here a little bit better lighting. Uh, the Bianchi showing it's, and it's a model B2. 
B2. Sometimes people call these a Sam Brown holster or a belt. Um, so whatever you want to call it, call it what you like. Um, we'll come over here. The next deal we we talked about the, the belt stops and they just slide. Um, the knife case. This is a Gerber knife. This is what Rick wore at the prison. And this is the knife that is in the uh, case. Nice knife. This is real. This is not a uh, a fake or anything knife. You know, this is a real knife. Very nice. Next, we're going to go to the handcuff case. Handcuff case, empty because Rick's is empty. But once again, basket weave. Everything that's on the holster is basket weave and silver snaps. You got to watch out because sometimes they make these with brass snaps and brass buckles. And when, if you're like looking at them on eBay and stuff, they can actually look silver because of the flash and stuff. But these are actually silver. Next is the uh, speed loader case. Speed loader case. Let me unsnap these. Obviously empty. Rick doesn't. The, from the screen grabs I have of Rick's, they are not. He does not have speed loaders in them. So and they just snap right back up. And the, then the bottom is solid. So there is that. Now we'll turn the everything over here. The back side of the uh, where the belt is. I used an H. Uh, this is HKS brand on the uh, speed loader. The brand of the handcuff case, Tech Shoemaker. Holster also Tech Shoemaker. Same brand that is on Rick's. These, these holsters, when you find them, are very, very expensive. And had it not been for The Walking Dead, you're probably looking at maybe, maybe a $20 holster. But, you know, anytime something gets put on uh, TV or a movie, obviously, you know, and if it's famous, it's going to drive up the price. But uh, the belt is uh, what I'd call a roughed out uh, leather on the back. It's very, very pliable, bendable. Uh, so it just... A good well broke in. And this belt here, let me pull this up. The uh, belt here is the same way. As you can see, it bends. And I will come over here to show you. There it is, the Bianchi B2. And there's the 44. So, like I said, very nice belt. Pretty much brand new. There was the price tag on them. Uh, $69.50. So... Once again, you know, if you can find them, you can, sometimes you can find this stuff cheaper on eBay and what have not. But uh, silver buckle, and like I said, Kyle, if you're wanting this, I will, I will swap out everything. So that way, you don't have to get the 38 belt, and it'll come with the knife, everything that you see here, uh, plus the uh, airsoft. And the the airsoft is made by. Let me see here, UNC, I believe, is the brand on that. Uh, I think they call this the zombie pistol. I, I do know that this thing will, I was playing around with it and I was like, oh, you know, it's got a little plastic BB. It's spring loaded. How can this thing, you know, it can't be that powerful. And so being an idiot that I am, I just shot myself in the leg with it. And I'm going to tell you what, guys, it left a welt and it, it stung. I was like, holy shit. So, um, but it's a very, very cool uh, piece. Let me see here. Once again, very difficult to operate with one hand, but there it breaks open. And then I, here, I'll just let this cartridge just fall out. So you'll have the bullets, and then you just stick that little plastic BB in there. And uh, let me tell you something. Like I said, when it when it comes flying out there, you'll know it. So. Uh, and they'll come with all the BBs and everything. Because like I said, this is all brand new. This is the only time I fired it. Uh, I was. I just fired it across the room, see how far they'd go and how fast, and they were really zipping across the room. The room was probably a 15 by 15 room, and it was, trust me, they'll bounce off the wall. Um, so, pretty cool deal, you know, and like I said, uh, and I've, I've explained this before on Rick's pistol, I do not know uh, if his is what I call a brushed stainless, or if it's actually a nickel plated. Uh, Sometimes, you know, it's probably depending on the scene and stuff, I think he actually has both, to be real honest with you. I think sometimes, and it's probably, if I had to guess, 
probably supposed to be nickel plated, but I, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, this one is, it's silver. Um, this is the way you get it from. So it's going to look like that brushed stainless steel. But uh, the gun has uh, a lot of weight to the weapon. Uh, it's it just, you know, cylinder rotates. I mean, it's, it's a cool piece. It really, really, really is a cool piece. So, um, you know, for you guys out there, you know, putting uh, Walking Dead Rick Grimes costumes together, uh, this is definitely the piece you want when you're going to, uh, you know, do cosplay, as I mentioned before. So anyway, um, there's the in-depth on the basket weave. And then the stitching. Just, just a really, really cool... I mean, you know, there's nothing really fancy about this. Because, like I said, you're probably going back to 80s, maybe the 70s uh, on this. For this is what patrolmen carried. Uh, they, they actually had a... A four-inch Smith and Wesson in here, and that's Highway Patrol, your local sheriff's department, police departments. This is what they carried. So nothing really special about it. Uh, the only thing I would say, it's not even odd, but the difference between Rick's and I've mentioned this in one of my other videos, is the the thumb strap coming over. Uh, a lot of the holsters that you will find, and and I think even Tech Shoemaker makes them that way, is the where it's coming all the way over here and it snaps down here. And a lot of people are using those for their Rick Grimes uh, holsters and that's just not correct. Now, the other thing with Rick Grimes holster, and I've mentioned, like I said, in other videos, is they've probably taken some saddle soap and where this is coming over to the pistol, over the pistol to lock it in, they probably used a lot of saddle soap in here and made this really soft. So this basically just flops over. When he pulls his pistol out, and the same with over here, which is the back side of this. They probably put a lot of saddle soap in here and loosened all that leather up, and it will also flop over. So when Rick pulls his pistol out, it's basically kind of doing that. And it's just hanging over both sides. If you want to do that, you can do that. I'm not going to do that to this holster. I let people make up their minds on how they like it and stuff. But uh, that is one thing that they did do on the show. Or maybe the holster is just so old that it doesn't have very much stiffness in the leather anymore. But like I said, you can soften that up with saddle soap and make that thing flop over. Uh, to me, I, I would prefer it up here. So that way, when you put your, your pistol in, it comes back over and you just snap it. So I'll see if I can get the pistol in here with one hand. It should be no problem. Uh, but it's going to go in. There it is. It's in the holster. And then there's the, the barrel sticking out at the bottom, just like Rick Grimes. Uh, for cosplay and stuff, I don't know. So eBay and everybody gets all weird. Uh, the little orange uh, safety deal showing that this is a, a play gun or whatever you want to call it. It's not real. You can cut that off. Well, most of my stuff I do, I cut it off. I mean, the hell with them. But if anybody wants to come up, all you got to do is hand it to them. And then once they put it in their hand, you know, like, oh, this is plastic. Yeah, well, no shit, idiot. But there are idiots out there that would probably bring a real firearm into a, a convention or something like that. So I understand the, the means for safety, especially these days. Uh, so anyway, there's the holster. It's it snapped up just like Rick's. And it, this is a, I mean, it's a perfect fit. You know, this is just done. I, you won't find anything closer to Rick's than this because this is exactly what Rick uses. So anyway, and like I said, the, the knife will, um, let me see if I can just put it in here, one-handed, especially when I'm filming with my right hand and I'm right-handed, uh, but the knife goes right in like so. And uh, I do have screen uh, grabs of Rick using this knife on, there it is, it snapped in. You know, you don't have to. He didn't use it all the time. I just thought, hey, you know what? i never seen anybody else's um, cosplay holster with this knife on it. And it could be because maybe they don't want to carry knives into a, a convention or what have not. But it's an option. Put it that way. It's an option for you. And it's there and it's the same one that was on Rick's holster. Or the same one that, you know, he used. Not actually the, the uh, screen used one, but... Just like the screen used one. This is kind of a little difficult to snap with one hand. There it goes. Now it's snapped. So, and I just did that with one hand. So, my left hand, which I'm not even left-handed. So, it's a 
awesome, awesome piece, especially, like I said, I don't think anybody else would want this except for Walking Dead fans. So, I mean, I guess unless you're a police officer and you collect holsters, and, and I do. I mean, I, I'm not a police officer by any means, uh, but I do collect holsters and firearms and weapons, knives, swords, you name it, I have it. And, uh, and, not, and, and I really don't do the airsoft. Uh, these real Colts here, uh, Colt Python in either a stainless or a nickel, you're probably looking anywhere from 1500 to 3000 somewhere in that vicinity. They're very, very, very expensive. They're no longer made. And uh, so obviously for that reason, there you go. So I do love a good revolver, but um, for this, uh, I would just, you know, obviously doing an airsoft. Maybe someday I might put a real Colt Python in my collection when I when I have everything else that I want. And there's a few other uh, firearms out there I want to put in my collection before adding one of these. So anyway, uh, there you go, Kyle, and all the Walking Dead fans out there. If anybody has any questions on this setup, please uh, message me, and uh, you know I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Um, that's the best I can do. I hope it's a, 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 a in-depth video enough for you, Kyle. I don't know what more I could talk about, but if you have a question or a concern on anything, just let me know, and uh, I will do my best to answer it. So there you go. Rick Grimes, Walking Dead holster, pistol, knife, um, and with an you know, the correct belt for you, Kyle. Uh, if anybody else is also interested in this, like I said, this is a 38, and I think I have like a 28 belt too. So, which, you know, you'd have to be a pretty small person, but hey, we're not all built the same. So, anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and um, talk to you all soon. Bye.